Hi, welcome to the Film Pigs here on Geek Nation. We are uh, currently, the Film Pigs hold the world record for oldest guys on the internet. Yep. We're very excited about all, that. All other people on the internet older than us have died. <laughs> we, it's so sad. It is sad, but you know, it's our title to hold. Uh, I'm Todd Anderson, your host. Uh, this is Steve Skelton. This is Steve Falk. We're on hiatus, so technically we're not even here. Nope. But uh, hey, we're popcorn. Holograms. We're holograms. <laughs> we stopped getting getting those big checks every week. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. We're like baseball. We're, we're like just hitting the weight room. <laughs> yeah. We're. <laughs> well, we gotta stay. We gotta keep in shape yeah, for the new season. When the season comes. <laughs> uh, since we're on hiatus, uh, we thought we'd put together a clip show, and uh, this particular clip show, we're gonna honor the writings. Of Stephen Fall. Wow, that is he, amazing. He not only writes for television and movie shows and yeah. all that stuff, like professionally gets paid, he also writes for this. So we thought we'd <laughs> honor yeah. that. Wait, that didn't sound like yeah. a good idea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it's a little bit of a step down. Yeah. But you know, whatever. Uh, um, you're keeping your instrument in shape. I That's am. what you're doing. Yeah. So we had a team of top, top men. Top. Top men. Men. Top, top men. Uh, assemble top these clips of the best of Falk. There's three things. The first is something with a, 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 a mocap, I believe. Uh, tell us about it, Steve. Yeah, well, this, uh, you know, the, the group of judges, uh, the adjudicators, uh, decided that this was one of my top three uh, written sketches. And I can't disagree, because it's pretty brilliant. Uh, this is an actor named Steve Agee, who you've seen on everything. He currently is on New Girl a lot as Outside Dave. Right. I think that's his name. Uh, and uh, this is where uh, Steve Agee, um, uh, he came and graced us with a lesson on mocap acting. Roll it! Roll it! Hi there. I'm famous actor Steve Agee. You know, being successful in Hollywood these days means diversifying. And that means in addition to film and television, also doing voiceover, stunts, snuff films, dinner theater, weblogs, sex chats, Twitter prov, and mocap. Now, mocap stands for movie calisthenics. And some examples of great mocap acting are Jar Jar Binks, Andy Serkis, and of course, Marlon Brando in the score. Now, mocap acting is a special skill, and I'm going to show you how it's done. First, dynamic gestures. Sorry, Mr. Johnson, but we have to foreclose on your farm. No! I need more time! <clears throat> Two, big emotions. Hey, brother, are you ready to go to mom's funeral? <laughs> Three, use the balls. Your Honor, may I approach the bench? All right, but you better not waste my time, lawyer. All right, now let's try putting them all together. You're under arrest for a crime. Yeah, come with us peacefully. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere with you jerks! <laughs> and scene. Shit, yeah! All right, that was mocap acting with Steve Agee. Thanks for watching. My next sex cam show is 3 to 6 a.m. Hungarian Standard Time. Bye! See ya. Bye. Take care. Wow, that was an amazing uh, sketch. How? I mean, that that. I didn't know like how. I didn't know how they. I don't know how they did that. No, and now I know. It's yeah, you know. exactly how you, you know. do it. And uh, now we've got another Steve Falk sketch. What's this sketch, Steve Falk? Well, th this is where we're going to pause and yeah. then decide. But we didn't pause. We, <laughs> we did not do that. Pause. So forget it. Let's just let's just roll into it. Well, okay. So uh, the 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 second one that the adjudicators decided on. This was a. Uh, uh, 
Um, you've seen it inside of the actor's studio. Oh. This is actually a, uh, a, a special, um, we had them come and, and do it here, Lipton, and he had uh, two um, uh, Swedish writers, right? Swedish directors? Yeah, they were, yeah, they were foreign, they were foreign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Reef Wiffen, 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 and uh, and Lars von Trier, and uh, oh, they were they and and James Lipton came down here into the valley, and uh, he did a little special uh, show with them, and and uh, I th I thought it went really well. Okay, roll that, roll it. roll it, yeah. Welcome back to Inside the Actor's Studio. It's been a pleasure to have two of the most famous Danish directors of all time grace our stage. Lars van Trier, whose upcoming film, Nymphomaniac, is an NC-17 sex film. Yes, yes, hello. None of you are authentic. And Nicholas Vinding Refn, whose current film is Only God Forgives. We will now end our session, as we do every time, with the famous questionnaire from Bernard Pivot. <clears throat> What is your favorite word? I do not choose words. Words choose me, so I reject the question. <laughs> Hullabaloo. What is your least favorite word? Editing, pace, humor. Critics, also Wednesday. I believe it is misspelled. <laughs> what turns you on? This is a question which presupposes the ability to feel joy, yes? Yes. Then I reject the question. Popcorn. Really? Being eaten by a crippled boy who is dying on the forest floor after being abducted by a giant worm. Played by Dustin Hoffman. What turns you off? I reject the question. Lars. Spiders. Really? Being eaten by an alcoholic. Putting them in a tiny mouth hidden just beneath his nipple. Played by the boy from Sixth Sense. Can I change my answer? Sure. Ah, see? You have no rules, like God. I rest my case, all is chaos, this show does not exist. <clears throat> what sound or noise do you love? Me! 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 Me too, same answer. What sound or noise do you hate? <laughs> what is your favorite curse word? Stupid American. Dumpster. Oh. But I would only say it to an actual dumpster. Ah. Like behind a 7 Eleven. Delightful. To make a statement. That's beautiful, Nick. I know. What profession other than your own would you like to attempt? Painter. Ah. House painter. Oh. But I would use blood instead sure. of paint. Sure. And semen instead of blood. Hmm? Ask me. Ask me. Nick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought that would be more fun. Hmm. What profession would you not like to do? Mortician. Because you would enjoy it too much? No. Yes. These, these are dumb questions because I make movies because I'm a filmmaker because I have no choice. Please answer the question. Well, then I choose your job because yours is the job of a clown. <clears throat> if heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say to you at the pearly gates? Hello, famous Danish director Lars von Trier. I love all your movies. Sorry I misspelled Wednesday. I do not exist, so I must be the devil. So you should attempt to fight me. I have a new answer. Okay. I approach, but God is not at the pearly gates. Instead, there is a friendly puppy. Ah, oh, cute whose body is on fire and his eyeballs are being eaten away by maggots. The puppy will be played by the paperclip from Microsoft Office's suite of software. 
Lars, Nicholas, thank you for gracing our stage. Good night, students. I felt that Ori Godfrey's should have been at least two hours longer. I take that as sarcasm. We must fight now. What's happening? Oh, a tussle. Oh, I love oh, a tussle. Now. Oh, my, no. my, this, oh, oh. my the pain. Oh, oh my, stop ah, medic. Touching. Stop touching. Medic. I've hurt myself badly. I'm in pain. Wow, you were right. That really did. Uh, that yeah. went well. Yeah. I, yeah. I would say that defines going well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, Lipton's looking a little haggard these days. <laughs> Finally, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the top men uh, who decided on these sketches the that were the best default. The adjudicators. This was no surprise, uh, I thought. They, uh, we, we went uh, apparently deep. I forgot that this happened on the show. Yeah. But we went deep into the mind of Stephen Falk. Yeah, I thought it was uh, a little embarrassing that they picked this one because uh, it, it doesn't doesn't go too well for me uh, in it. But um, it was sort of a, a, a meta sketch that just happened and we happened to film it. So I don't know why it counts as my writing because <laughs> I didn't really write it. It just happened to me. Yeah. But um, some of the, great, the greatest of art sometimes just happens. Yeah, and we ha we do have a there's a very special uh, uh, celebrity guest in this one as well. Um, yeah. Oh. Yeah, uh, an African American fella. So let's watch that. All right, let's oh. look at that. Roll it! Roll it! African Americans. <laughs> oh my god, I am so hungover from the Oscar party last night. Oh, I'm gonna do nothing but lie in bed all goddamn day. Don't you have that film pig fake trailer sketch to write? Oh, fuck me! Oh, god! <laughs> Okay, all right, let's see what's opening. Um, Oz, okay, uh, Todd can play Franco, uh, I'll, I'll play Michelle Williams in a dress. No, last time I dressed as a woman, I, I, I liked it too much, and then I felt really weird all week. God damn it, my head hurts so much. Writing is so hard. How's the sketch coming, honey? I got nothing, I want to die. Well, why don't you just write what you know? This is a sketch for the film pigs, you giant dummy. You don't understand anything about writing. <laughs> Wait, maybe I can write what I know. <laughs> ah. Hey, hey, I got the opening sketch. Oh, is Cosby in it? No, not this one. Hope you like it. Brian wants to see you. Oh. Hey, uh, if it's about the popcorn and the candy, I'll totally replace it. I just get a little hungry. <laughs> it's not that. It's this. A sketch about writing a sketch. Oh yeah, like, uh, like adaptation. People like that. That's because he's a good writer. And he did it already. And in it, you make fun of me for doing Cosby all the time. You're the one who, who makes me do Cosby. It's because you, you like to do it so much. No, this sketch is a piece of shit. Ever since NBC canceled your show before it ever aired, you've been dragging us down. What, what, are, you, what are you saying? You're fired. But... Get... Get... Feels good to kill dreams. Yeah. Weird. No. No. Good. Good. <laughs> Fired from the film pigs. Life has no meaning anymore. What is this limo doing pulling up? Bill Cosby? Son, what are you doing here on the bridge with the thing and the being all sad and the jumping off and that does not make me smile? Uh, I, 
I, I got fired from my job with this sketch comedy group, Mr. Cosby. What sketch comedy group? Uh, film pigs. Film pigs, razzle dazzle, I love the film pig. You do? I do, there's too much Florida and filth in Florida, but the ginger boy does a good impersonation of me always, makes me smile. Really, you think it's good? Yeah, I do, on second thought, you got fired from the film pigs, I think you should just go ahead and kill yourself. Oh my god, dude. I had the craziest dream last night. I wrote this sketch and you hated it. Yeah, and then I made Brian fire you and then you showed up the next night anyway like some fucking lunatic. Wait, how did... Oh! But I didn't write this yet. Or did you? <laughs> I feel weird now because uh, getting inside your head is weird. Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a like you get too close, a little too close sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I've never wanted to be inside you, but now I have been. Uh, yeah, well, no. that's the best of Stephen Falk on the film Yay. pigs. Amazing writing from this guy. And uh, uh, that brings us to the end of our show. So on behalf of Steve Falk, Steve Skelton, and myself, Todd Anderson, I say thank you for watching this hiatal clip show. And until next time, the concession stand is closed due to health code violations. And severe inventory <laughs> issues. Yeah, yeah we, we got to get to smart and fun. Yeah, we do.